Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Launchpad Inside Look Launchpad Edition. So if you've ever been in our library before, you may have seen a big glass box that looks very industrial. That's where we are now. If you haven't visited before, please come on in whenever we're able to open again. Um, but if you have been here before, there's a ton of stuff to look at. One of the main things that your eyes might be drawn to is actually going to be along this wall here. So we have two 3D printers. Um, we've got the Taz Mini and the Taz 6. You'll see there's a noticeable difference between them. So if it's a bigger project, we'll usually put it on the Taz. If it's smaller, Mini. Um, we have some really cool little examples that we always have so that people know what they can do here at this base. And those that are into miniatures can also print stuff out and then paint them at home. And with those ones, there's a form on our website that you can go to. So if you visit itpld.org, do the services tab, and then click on the launch pad, you'll see it should be the second or third link. The next machine that everybody seems to love and is super intrigued by because what is this huge box? It is the Epilogue Laser Mini, and it's used for cutting and engraving different material. There we are. Some of the examples up on top that you can take a look at. Notice the coated aluminum tumbler and cork coaster. This can be used with wood, acrylic. Here we have a ton of different acrylic colors and several different pieces, types of wood and thicknesses of wood. And those ones are actually um, for sale here at the library, but you are more than welcome to bring in your own wood as well. Uh, we have a long list on our website of material that is compatible with the machine. So um, you can check that out. Otherwise, you could always bring it in and then we'd be able to either test it or let you know if it works well with our machine or not. Um, so something to note with these three machines that we've just gone over is that um, you can um, submit a request for them. Um, this one is generally a book a maker appointment, we call it, and you get um, our full attention for one hour and we can go through the design process and cutting and all of that. Um, but something to note is that we, the staff, are the ones that actually work the machine. Um, so you won't be filling, you know, putting through the filament on the 3D printer or anything like that. That will be us who do it um, and we'll be running the laser. It's a laser and we don't want anybody to get hurt. So something to note. So we have two examples here of things that you could do. Uh, this one is engraving. So it can engrave onto glass, acrylic, um, wood. It can actually um, sketch onto, I'm saying a sketch, I'm sorry, it can engrave onto different materials too. I think we've, the most interesting thing that we've engraved onto is an eggshell. Um, this one here is interesting because it utilizes both cutting and the engraving part of this machine. So the machine actually cut out this little hole to fit the peg. And then we usually do rounded edges on our project. But we also etched onto it with this. So that one used both capabilities. And something super cool to know for the vino drinkers among us, um, we can actually etch onto glass bottles. So if you are into um, wine and want to give it away as a present, or something so let's say there's a wedding coming up and you want to give a gift um, you can get a nice bottle of wine and we're able to etch onto that full bottle of wine without affecting the wine that is inside and the reason I say full bottle is because we've found that we've done them on both we've done them on empty used bottles and full bottles and they come out um, better it seems to level it somehow. We, have, we don't really know the science of it, but it works better when it's full. Here are some examples of our program outcomes and our DIY try, DIY to go crafts. 
So what you just saw there were the staff stations. So those are the computers that we'll usually be using. Um, if we're not at one of these computers, sometimes we'll be up at the taller instruction table at the front of the room. But what we have here is something I wanted to show you. So this is where you would come to make a reservation for one of our digital media labs. So that includes the archiving station, the video editing lab, no, and the sound lab. So um, if ever you're interested in doing that, this is the place to do it. Um, there is another option on our website, of course. We have um, another link that you can use to make a reservation for one of those spots as well. Behind me, is a big chalkboard wall. Um, right now, what's on it, it looks like measurements, right? Well, ding, 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 you are correct. These are the measurements that we used for the masks that we made for um, staff members when we were able to come back into the building. So um, staff members were working six feet apart with their masks on and cutting out tons and tons of fabric, while another team of staff members would then be the sewists. Now we are in the back storage closet slash office. This space functions in two different ways. It is actually the office of the department head here in the launch pad. Um, it's also the uh, storage space for a lot of our programming supplies. You can see we have a lot of things for paper crafting, um, clay, jewelry making, all of that stuff. And these are all things that we use within our scope of programs. So a lot of those get stored here. Um, and then I will put in some elevator music so that you can look at the rest. are some of the in-house kits that we have that can be used again in-house so you would be using them in the library. Um, some of them do require a checkout but so long as you've got any kind of library card that's registered here at Indian Trails you can use it here in this space. So we just saw cup mats and our hot press, heat press, um, that's our embroidery machine and then we've got other um, games slash kits for um, coding, that kind of thing, kind of STEM-based. Telescopes are for take-home use, and those are checked out for one week at a time. Um, here we have some stamp and embossing kits. So these are just a few of the kits that make up our exploration kits. But if you look at our page on the website, you'll be able to see a full list. Otherwise, when we're open, you can always come up and look around, take a peek through the little lockers and see what we've got. Hi, welcome to the Digital Media Labs. Uh, the elusive labs that I've been talking about for who knows how long. So um, in here, we have not only the labs themselves, but also some storage cabinets. So what you see here on my right, your left, um, is an orange, usually orange, um, cabinet that holds all of our launch pad on the go material. So this material is all available right now for checkout. These are uh, checked out for two weeks at a time and uh, for now they are um, for Indian Trails card holders only. We have a ton of different types of uh, kits to check out so please feel free to look on our catalog for those. Um, some examples would be uh, like a knitting kit that you can see up at the top that comes with different size ne knitting needles and a skein of yarn. We've got, um, let's see, we've got digital drawing kits, we've got microscopes that can be taken home, we've got video kits, um, we've got a whole lot of stuff. Uh, laminator, people love that one a lot, of course. And we even have a sewing machine that you can take home so long as you've gone through the certification. What's super cool about that is that we now have the certification available online. So if you just go through Niche Academy, um, on our website, you'll be able to get your sewing certification and then you can come and check out the kit 
for two weeks. Another cabinet that uh, I can show you right here, um, this is actually all of the stuff that is for in-house use with um, the digital media labs. So we have several different types of microphones and monitoring headphones. We've got different tools that you can use with these different stations. So as you see here, this is a Super 8 slash 8 millimeter film uh, to digital machine that you can use. And we've also got the VHS to digital converter. And then finally, we've got the Epson scanner. And that's the one that we've got here on the right. So these tools are all used for archiving material that you may have at home, like family videos, um, that are in a form that could, you know, degrade over time, or, you know, it's just nice to have it digitally so that you can share it. So this is a great place to be for that. And the same um, rules apply. As I said before, you can uh, reserve the space at the kiosk out there or through our website online. Here in the sound lab, um, we've got this setup here. Uh, this computer, I have it open to GarageBand right now, but we also have Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro that can be used on this. And we've got the Whisper Room. Ooh, so mysterious. So what you can see and what I'm holding right here is a remote for the inside of the sound lab. So if you can tell, it's way more muffled in here than it is out there. And that is obviously on purpose. That's for recording music. People come to record music. They come to do, uh, we've had actually a local author narrate their own audiobook here. We have people who do podcasts, that kind of thing. So um, feel free to come and enjoy. And of course, you don't need to have the rainbow lights. If those bother you, you can just keep them on. Or if you don't want them at all, turn them off. The editing lab is straight across. The lights turn off on me. Okay. So in here, we have a green screen wall. So this wall can be used to um, have any background, make any background that you want. So I'm going to put some cats behind me right now. And that's that on that. Um, <laughs> this computer though, that's got a ton of different programs on it. So this is Final Cut Pro, um, but we've also got all of the Adobe Suite. If not all, don't quote me on that. If it's not all, it's most of. Um, you'll see here we've got all of those that can be used on this computer. Oh, thanks Adobe. So um, what you can do is make a reservation for the room, use this room for whatever you need. This also works as a second archiving station because it's got everything more or less um, that the archiving station does. Uh, it can totally be compatible with the Wolverine Super 8 converter. Uh, the difference is that it doesn't have the Epson scanner and it doesn't have the VHS to digital machine. While we've been closed, we've been working hard on making as many DIY to go bags as we can. Those can be found here in front of the launch pad or through the drive up window. There are some links down below that'll take you to the pages I mentioned. Remember, some of them won't be available until we're fully, fully open, but 3D printing and launch pad on the go kits are available. And in the meantime, our DIY to go kits are for all ages. Thanks for joining me. Take care. Mm -hmm.